Hello. In this video, we are going to see how to take backup of our uh, Drupal site. So, whenever we are developing a Drupal site, we'll be adding certain things and all. And in real life, there are many scenarios, a lot of things can go wrong. So, having a backup is always advisable. Backups are also useful uh, when uh, we upgrade to newer versions of Drupal or add new modules or something and something goes wrong unfortunately then we should be able to roll back to some existing content so we need to have a backup so in case of drupal or any content management systems your the drupal core itself the package itself is one thing which we saw uh, in the previous session when we discussed about the drupal directory structure and uh, your content goes into the database which is associated with your Drupal, whatever content that you will be creating. Apart from this, certain files, libraries, user defined themes and themes or extra modules which you might have added will be stored into the certain specific directories. Now, when we want to backup our Drupal, we actually need to backup two parts. One is the Drupal directory or the whole Drupal section which is installed including all the files and folders that we created inside that so basically the Drupal root and all its sub components have to be taken as a backup you can simply zip it and uh, keep it with you apart from that second thing is taking the backup of the database so let us see how we can do this backup of our Drupal site. So first of all, log in into your Drupal site as an administrator. And the first thing we need to do is put our site into maintenance mode so that in maintenance mode, except for the administrator, no one else can access the website. So we will go into configuration. There is development and there is maintenance mode. So first of all, we put our site into maintenance mode okay you can also see some error messages which is telling me that there is a security update into your version of Drupal so after the backing up procedure the next thing we'll be talking about how to upgrade our Drupal course uh, core in the next session so now my site is in maintenance mode another thing that you may want to do is go to performance and clear off all the caches Drupal caches certain pages and all for you so it is unnecessary having backup or those content in the database. So caches are clear. Now my Drupal site is in maintenance mode. I have cleared the caches. These are two basic things we need to do before we take a backup. Clearing cache is not required, but I usually prefer to do so. Once you have done this, the next part is dependent upon where your Drupal is installed and how you have installed. So if you have installed it locally on your machine, so we will simply create a backup of that. Okay, so here this is on the local machine and this is where all my Drupal core files are there. Right? Where www.html and here are my all Drupal core files. Make sure you can see the hidden files also while taking a backup of this. Fine. What you need to do is you need to simply select all these files and create a zip either from the command line or the graphical interface on the local machine. You have a lot of choices. So you simply select all these files over here and you can say create archive dependent upon your operating system and all you can just do that. So I will let us say we'll uh, backup of Drupal. And it is advisable that you add some date and time and some extra things associated with that. And in case of Linux, our preferred one can be tar.bz or gz. So I'm doing this. You can create a zip and we will say create. Here you can see the backup file is created. Don't leave it here itself on the server. Just copy paste it and keep it in a safer location. 
just for a reminder the user defined or added themes will be inside themes modules will be inside modules and our uploaded files and other things will be inside sites right so we have taken a backup successfully of our drupal contents the second thing is we need to take a backup of our database here if you know command line you can take a backup from the command line otherwise if you have php my admin installed we will take a backup from php my admin this is my php my admin on the local one so what i'm going to do is you can either log in as root or if you have the username and password handy you can log in with that username and password so that way there won't be any confusion which database and all so i'll log in with that particular username and password and you can see over here this is the drupal db which we have and i have to take a backup of this select the database over here and go to export tab and here we can do either a quick or custom if you know what is to be done or you want to avoid some tables or other thing then you can go into those details otherwise we can simply go with the quick but let's have a look at this so the format for export should be sql these things some other things are there the only thing we want to add is add a compression and here we will say zipped or gzipped any one of the compression we will take because uh, the actual sql file could be very big as your site grows so i am going to take it as gzip and now we will tell it to export and just tell it where to export here it says drupal db.sql again you can specify uh, i'm just saying demo local machine and just say save once this is done make sure it is downloaded and our export over here is done so now our backup is ready with respect to the local machine now if you would have been on a real life machine so uh, you will have a web based interface or a ssh interface or anything accordingly you will have to take a this thing backup so here uh, we will have a look at uh, this is a demo account of cpanel usually many of the hosting service providers give you cpanel and from which you can take a backup there is a file manager there is a disk backup there is a backup section backup wizard is there and so many other things functionalities are provided so the simplest way to do is go to the backup part wherever your backup system is and you can do a full site backup this uh, full account backup will download everything associated with your account on the server or if you want to do a partial backup like most of the changes that will be happening would be inside your drupal part and the database so you could download the backup from here by clicking on this and here since this is a demo account it does not show the database your databases will show up over here associated you can back up that and uh, do a full account backup as per your understanding and similarly here it provides you all the restoration functionality if you are shifting accounts or anything that time you could restore if you have done a full backup you could restore a home directory backup you could restore a mysql you could restore your email and other things so you can do a backup from here fine so a periodic backup is a good idea you should be taking the backups from here also usually these people provide php my admin interface also if you want you can take a database backup from php my admin and restore it from there also so this way you can simply take a backup of your website not specific to drupal but any kind of website that you are making which has a database or other cms you should be able to take a backup from this in the next session we will see how to update drupal as well as how to restore if something goes wrong